Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Atlas. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling. So I was wanting to do some exploring inside town and stuff like that. But I really want to get on the seas, see what the sailing's like. And we're kind of being held back by not having any metal on this island. So we're going to go try to find some. What I want to do though, before we head out, so we have our raft over there that we built in the last video. I want to go ahead. Oh, we got some points. We got two. Let's put... One into fortitude. That'll help out with the temperatures and then the rate of decrease for all vital stats. That's always a good thing. And let's do weight. I want to get weight up to about 400. That should be a good place there for that. And then I want to be able to put a bed in storage over there. So what are we missing? Not there. So all we need is a little bit of stuff. I want to see what we have in here. We don't have too much stuff, so I might need to collect a little bit more. And grab all the main items that we have. Keratin will take some of our food with us as well. Don't care about the spoiled stuff. We'll take that too. All right, so what are we missing for a bed? The so storage, we're going to need a little bit more thatch and some fibers. Okay, not a problem. Fibers and thatch, same thing. So not a big deal. We got a ton of the bamboo here. So what I was thinking, I was wanting to do some treasure hunting today, but we got to have a shovel. <laughs> we can't have a shovel. I think that's built in the smithy, which requires metal. That's kind of one of the reasons why we're just going to head out today. We could always come back here. There is some stuff in town over there. I did a little bit of checking, and there's a bunch of cosmetics and things like that, so we will be coming back here at some point in time. So it's not like once we leave, we're gone forever. There's still a reason to come back. I'm going to need to repair my tools here soon, too. But I definitely want to be able to get some metal. I've checked a lot of the rocks around here. I did a lot of running around and just haven't found any metal at all. Not even a tiny bit to be able to build a smithy. And I think once we get that, we've also got some metal tools and stuff unlocked. So it'll help out in the long run, right? But let me grab a little bit of fibers and then some more thatch. And we'll go ahead and get those two things built. And we'll set sail. Alright, so I think we got everything made. I have a storage chest and the bed. A little bit of extra stuff. I want to grab our flint out of here. I think I forgot that, right? Take one last look. We got it. Okay, we're cool. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take this just in case. We'll take the bow and arrows. Don't know if we're going to use it. Turn you off. And let's grab all this little bit of meat. I really need to get the preserving bin going and all that stuff just so that we have a way to keep our food a little bit longer because it does spoil fairly fast. But I think we'll be fine, man. We're going out on the ocean. Fish will probably be the only issue, but I mean, that's super simple to get them, right? There's a ton of them out there. I know, man. I don't want to pick you up because I can't do anything with you. I'll tell you what. Let's drop that, too. It's going to be taking up a spot. Oh, we got another level. Let's put this into health. And I'll have to take a look. Like I said, I still haven't read too much on what points I want to spend. However, I do want to go ahead and get on the ocean. All right, so we'll grab a little bit of stuff out of here. We are severely overweight. Can we move still? We can. <laughs> I want to have two chests on here. One for our repairs. And one for our other stuff. I don't know if we're going to find anything. It's always good to have two. So we'll do the back one for our repair stuff, which is what? Wood, fiber, and hide. And it turns out this slowly takes damage over time. So that's why it has that there. Wood, fiber. Okay, that's all there. We'll put everything into here. Except for the bed. I'm hoping we can respawn here. I think we can. We should be able to, right? We want it on the edge. I don't want to roll off. You know, you have one of those bad dreams. You roll off. Next thing you know, you're down in the water being eaten by a shark. I'm just telling you, man. It's a horrible situation. So, do we need to reset our spawn? I don't think so. We're good. Cool. Well, I think what we're going to do is head that way. Mainly because we're towards the end of the map. And might as well go ahead and see what's there. I don't want, I don't want stone, man. Alright, let's see about... Getting twisted around here and getting out of here. I didn't think about pulling directly up to the dock and then try, <laughs> trying to get back out. Oh, wait. Is our anchor down? Nope, it's not. Interesting. I thought I'd put it down. I think whenever you re-log, it's no longer down. Or maybe whenever I started moving. Oh, uh, dude, this is going to suck trying to get out of here. I want to go this way because we're mainly facing that way. Full sails ahead. Dude, if we get off of this, we're going to go shooting over that way so fast. Or not. I mean, <laughs> if we had some wind. So, the cool thing about this is if you're at a wind, you can still tack back and forth in a zigzag, pa zigzag pattern. It's a hard word to say. To get to where you're going. That's probably what we're going to have to do to get around here. Let's get out of this 
small little channel here. And I'm kind of curious, there's supposed to be floating treasure chests and things like that for us to find along the way. Some shipwrecks as well. That might be only near the shallows. We will see. Kind of worried about the wildlife in the water. There's another manta. I've seen quite a few of those. I don't know if they're aggressive. Haven't been in the water very long to find out. There we go. Get up here where there's a little bit of wind in our sail. Oh, there's another one. We got some pretty cool color patterns on them, too. And here we go, man. We're about to be in deep water. Nice, man. Nice. We will be back. Don't worry, island. There's still some stuff for us to do in town there. But we're on the search for a metal. Oh, that's right. We can't use... So that's what kind of sucks. You can't use your map or your compass while you're here. So as we get a little bit further out, we should be able to transfer in between the server borders. I know we're only on single player, but they're still kind of sectioned off into different servers. So I'm not too sure how the loading's going to go in between this one and that one. I guess we'll kind of find out. But other than that, man, it's not too bad. we got wind going our direction. Let's... Ooh, that is sketchy. He jumps up when he comes off the... Off the sail. <laughs> uh, dude, we got everything we own right here. Anyways, enough of that. What I was wanting to look at is we need to go a little bit more that way. Just a little bit. I want to head straight down because, like I said, it's... We're not really in the middle of the map. We're down kind of towards the edge. And I don't know what's up there in the middle top that has the kind of like the little stones around with the, the skull. That's usually like a bad sign. But, I mean, well, we'll figure that out at one point in time coming up. However... That is where we're at now. So here's some treasure chests. We're not too far off the island. I mean, a good little ways. We're moving pretty fast. I don't know what are in these. Let's try to get up to this one. We'll jump in, see what it's all about, if we can get over there. We're kind of kind of out of wind, man. We're going at the wrong angle. I don't know if we can drop anchor out here. I don't know how deep it is either. It's going to be kind of a <laughs> kind of a learning experience. There is something in the water over there. I don't know if it's a fish. Or a shark, maybe it's a dolphin. I hope it's a dolphin. I would prefer for it to be a dolphin. <gasps> there is a dolphin! Dude, they actually jump out of the water! Oh, that is awesome, man! <laughs> What's up, buddy? You gonna protect me? I would appreciate it. I'll give you some nice fish. It's cooked. Oh, that's cool, man. So let's see, let's get up here. We'll pull all of our sails in. And see if we can get us some loot. That's kind of neat, man. Hopefully it's some good stuff in there. Some stuff that we can use too, right? Because we can't use anything but the, the normal primitive. We can't use Mastercraft or anything like that. We don't have any levels yet. We can pull right up next to it. Another dolphin. It's kind of a good sign, man, seeing dolphins. Alright, stop right there. Can we drop anchor? We can't! Ah, oh, dude, we're in like deep water. I mean, wouldn't expect to. Quality, 0 0.6. Okay, so is that like a loot drop on Ark? Access inventory. Okay, let's grab all that stuff. I wonder what's in... Let's see what's in the water. Oh, we got, we got bounced out. So we got some fish. We got some dolphins. Okay, okay. That is super deep, man. Holy crap. Wait, where's our boat? <laughs> it's right above us. All right, let's try to get back on. There we go. So what do we get out of this? We got a accordion of sea and sails. Easy ammo. Okay. Oh, it's a song. It increases the affinity when taming. Interesting. We've got some coffee seeds. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not a coffee drinker, but we'll take it. We got one whole gold coin. Okay. And then we've got a blueprint for a journeyman diving attachment. Interesting. I did know that there's some diving in here. I'm really interested in that. I dive in real life, so that's going to be kind of neat to see. Throw it in here with all this other stuff. Is the... Okay, so there is no spoil timer. What was that? Was that a dolphin? Dude, that was so loud, man. It is. Cool. Let's set sail over here to this other one. Maybe we'll get some more stuff, and it looks like, I don't know if you can see it, the, the server border is right in front of us. So we'll kind of see how it works out with changing servers here in a second. I'm hoping it's a smooth transition, seeing how we are on single player. It shouldn't be that much of a loading screen or anything. So they're kind of big, the servers. There's 255 of them, right? Can we, can we turn, please? Preferably a little bit faster than this. There we go. So yeah, it's 255, so, or 225. It's one of those two, either 255 or 225. So regardless, it's a lot of land, man. Let's slow it down a little bit, slow it down. We actually got wind going our direction. I like how you can pull right up to him and not have to jump off the boat. Kind of makes it safer, right? 
Well, we haven't seen any pirates yet. I I'm, I'm fine with that. Wouldn't mind seeing what they're like, though, you know? Oh, <gasps> I broke it! Where's our stuff? Oh, dude, you cannot pull up on it. That kind of sucks. Is there anything down there for us to grab? There's not. Oh, there's a swordfish. Interesting. Oh, dude, I can't wait to do the diving, man. Oh, yeah, oxygen. That's a thing. Dude, that's kind of neat, man. Kind of sucks I ran, <laughs> I ran over our chest. Oh, dude. All right, well, it's all a learning experience. We know now to pull up next to it and then just to jump off. So let's try to get our bearing straight. We should be going directly this way. Kind of sucks how you can't use your compass while you're while you're still sailing, you know? All right, let's try this before we change borders. We're going the right direction. A little bit more to the right, but it'll be fine. We'll see how this goes right here. It's kind of neat how they have it lined out. There's another little island right over there, but I think it was just a rock sticking out. Nothing major. Hopefully all of our stuff transfers over too. It's kind of one thing I'm worried about is getting over there and getting bugged. Alright man, here we go. Please let it be a smooth transition. I hope the time of day stays the same too. Is that it? Oh, there we go. We're traveling to B9. Oh wait, we were in B9, so now we're in A1. Oh dude! Oh, there's a lane over there, and over here. Well, I mean, that one looks cooler. That one's a lot bigger. Let's head that way. It's going to be out of the window. Oh, dude, we're going to have to have to zigzag back and forth to get over there. Okay, tell you what, let's try to go this way. So what you do, if you didn't know, whenever you want to go into the wind, you got to zigzag. We're not doing a very good job of zigzagging. We're going to have to go way up this way. But you can zigzag and still go into the wind. It just takes a little bit longer, right? Seems like the water's darker over here. How time of day have we got? Where's the day? That's still the same time of day. We got to level up, too. We'll just... We should go over to that one. And then whenever the wind changes, head to that one. It's just so much bigger over here. Let's just do that. It'll be easier to go this way. And let's see. We got a point. Let's put it into weight... That'll get us up almost to the 400 I wanted to be at. So it's not too bad. Oh, dude, that is a massive amount of land there. Compare, I mean, you gotta think about the little piece that we came from. I don't like how you can't see the islands whenever you're not in that current server. You can't, like, look ahead, right? You gotta kind of just go and then figure it out like that. So anyways, shouldn't take too long. We got full wind ahead of us, or behind us. So we should be pretty good and be over there in just a minute. We'll dock up, take a look around try to find us some metal. Oh, uh, dude, is that the pirates? There's three of them out there. I probably shouldn't be heading towards them, but I'm a little bit curious. That's kind of interesting. So they're different colors. I don't know what the colors mean. Kind of small ships, too. Oh, that's kind of neat, man. Oh, they disappear. Very short render range. So they're kind of at the map border, it looks like. There's three of them. There's a red one, a green one, and a yellow one. Interesting. <laughs> now that we saw them, let's continue this way. I do not want to get attacked because, I mean, let's be honest. We're on a pretty much just like a floating piece of wood here. Nothing much to it other than a little piece of cloth for a sail. All right, so we got some more treasure chests up here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. Let's just grab everything. We'll grab this other one, and we'll take a look all at once and see what we got. We're not too far away. It is very small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Gotta watch out for those pirates that are over there, too. It's like three of them, man. It's a very short render range for those. It kind of has me worried just a little bit. I don't want to accidentally get too close, you know? Let's see if we can grab this from right here. Ooh, we got a little bit of food in that one. All right, so what do we get? So this is a fine ship ammunition container. Okay, so we gotta have certain kind of containers for our ship ammo whenever we go to get that stuff built. Okay. We've got another song. That's a XP boost. Okay. We got some more gold coins. I like it. Everybody likes some gold. And a protective dock for storing large ships. So that's a mythical large armored dock. Interesting. That. Holy crap, dude. Look at the gold to build that thing. 2.4 million. I tell you what, gold better be easy to come by. A lot of alloys, fibers, mythos, stone. Okay, that's a that's a that's a lot there. It's a lot, man. It's a very big bill. 
And that's another song. Increases affinity when taming. Okay. We got some more food. Oh, wait, these are... Yeah, some berries. Okay. We've got some onions. Interesting. At least it's not the same kind of vegetable and stuff, right? It's different flavors of food. Are we safe? Are we safe? No pirates? Saying, man, you never know. And we got some more fish, it was. So it looks like our boat doesn't take very much damage at all. We're still at the 111 for the wood fiber and hide. Let's continue setting sail. I'd like to get over here before nighttime. I think we're not going to really set up too much of a camp over here. Seems how it's so small, I think we do a camp. It's going to be on that one over there. I just kind of want to wait for the wind to change for us to be able to get over there easier. And I might have to go ahead and put up a campfire on the boat here. If we can. I don't know if that's a thing. And I think we can go ahead... Oh, dude, that was a little bit of lag there. I think we can level this up. Yeah, we got four points for stats. So our weight is almost 400 of 2,000. Okay. We got extra beds. I mean, there's only us, so it doesn't matter. You got some extra crew, which we can have up to four. We can hire those back at the other place. Resistance, that's always a good thing. And sturdiness. So this is for... Reduces skinning rate and reduces rate of offshore item spoiling and character vitals. Oh, that's right. So whenever we're out on the water, our vitamins deplete faster. Kind of weird, man. And resistance is, it boosts all the resistance on the ship. Probably the only ones that are going to benefit us are the resistance and the sturdiness, right? Hmm, which ones to pick? We'll do one of those. One of those. That's plus 30 on the weight. We don't have any cannons, so that's kind of a waste. Let's do... We'll do those. That's not too bad. We got here very, very fast. I didn't think about that whenever we were <laughs> looking at our stats, man. <laughs> that would have sucked. Crash on this little island and then get stuck over here. Nice day to be on the water, though, man. Oh, dude, I'm really liking the water. All right, so we definitely want to dock up far enough out here where we can get away from lane without hitting anything. Looks like it's super small over here. If we can just find some metal, that is the main thing we're looking for. We'll start slowing down a little bit. We'll turn around, too, so we can get out easier. At least we got some wildlife. I saw some of the boars. We got some of the... Some of the treasure maps here, too. There we go. It's super, super shallow here. We should be fine. I think we can drop anchor here. Cool. Hopefully, we'll be safe. Let's go ahead and... Do that, and are we empty? We are. So we're pretty good. How's our food? Our food's good. Vitamins are all good. I think we're kind of set, man. Discovery. The Sharp Peak Key. Interesting. Please get off my screen. What is that? Are you friendly? It's a stupid question to ask. It's usually no whenever I ask that. What's up, buddy? You got some big horns there. It is a male bull. I will not be hitting you with a spear. Don't worry, buddy. You are safe for now. <laughs> Dude, I kind of like having creatures that are not all aggressive, right? Oh, we got new stuff. Iron, geode, basalt, and limestone. Oh, dude, thank goodness, man. All right, let's do a little bit of searching before we do some harvesting. This is all really close to the raft. Speaking of that, I do like how you can see the whole island you're around, too. So we're kind of up on, okay, top left side over there. It shouldn't be too hard. It's not that big of a island. All of these have it, too. Oh, dude, that is awesome, man. So let's do some exploring. It seems like all the rocks are going to have what we need. I don't know what ratios. We'll check that out before we leave. What are you? Straw. Nothing in particular. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something else. All right, we got some trees growing through some rocks. A little bit weird. There's supposed to be pirates that inhabit some of these. Okay, we need to get out of here. We're, like, in a bad spot here. It's supposed to be some pirates that inhabit the islands. I don't know if they're all like that. Or maybe just some of them. Maybe just the bigger ones. I mean, if I was a pirate, I'd like the smaller ones, you know. Easier to maintain. Easier to protect. Looks like we got a lot of the same wildlife. A seagull. Okay. We don't need anything from you. You're lucky. You're safe for now. It doesn't look like there's too much on this island. We're mainly going to use it for resources, I think. So I'm wondering, are all of the islands that are not the starter one... Going to have the same amount of resources in the main rocks? Kind of how it looks over here, you know? Dude, there is like nothing on this place. I was hoping to find something to... For discovery, right? Oh, there's some regular cows. 
So it says for one of our our nutrition things down here for the vitamins, it can be milk or fish. How do we get? Ah, uh, it's gonna turn bad. I know it's. Oh, they run. Interesting. I figured they'd try to fight us. I know the bulls one will definitely come for us, right? Slow down, man. Slow down. I'm limited stamina. Try to catch it. See if we kill it if we get some milk. We might have to have it tamed to be able to get milk. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? You want to, uh, <laughs> you want to keep it alive to get milk. i tell you what. Slow down, dude! I need to put points into stamina, I think, for sure. Maybe we'll do that for, like, the next couple points. Put it into stamina. There we go. There we go. One more. <gasps> he broke! Easy! Gotcha. I'll tell you what, that is a tough cow! Nice, there we go. All right, so we got some, oh, some prime animal meat. Interesting. A little bit of leather. Definitely have to cook that up. All right, cool. There's some stamina. So that'll go up six, okay? I know, man. I know. I need to take a look. We've got 82 points. We've got a ton of points. I just want to see what we have first. We kind of need metal. Get that smelting up and see what we have in the smithy. We got the loom and the tannery to see what those kind of do. And then we'll start putting points into other things. Let's cut through here. Let's see if there's anything else on this island. And then we need to watch the wind so we can head over to that bigger one, too. If there's nothing here. What was that? Basalt and limestone, okay. I do like how there's so many different colors, too, on the rocks. Nothing else. Huh. Interesting. Alright, tell you what. I'm going to run... <gasps> there's an elephant! Dude, they got elephants! Oh, dude. I tell you what, man. I love Ark, right? I love the dinos. It's awesome to see, but... Seeing new creatures is always a good thing. Oh, dude! That is a bunch of horns on your tusk. Are you all right, buddy? What level are you? Oh, I can tame it, too! I mean, not now. I do not want... I kind of want to smack it. I kind of want to smack it to see what happens, but... <laughs> at the same time, I don't. He could probably take us out very easily. Uh, dude, I want a little baby elephant, man. I'm just saying. That is fantastic! Oh, dude. I'm liking it. I'm liking it! All right, cool. I'm going to run around here. It is starting to get towards evening time. I see what is on these other things. Treasure map. They're all treasure maps. I can't do anything with you. So we get 7,600 gold in this one. So that's not too bad. Get a good bit of gold. I mean, seeing how that one thing we had was like, what? Like 2.4 million? Ooh, I did not think about... Stuff being in the water. I don't like how it sucks you up to the top whenever you're near it. Or we should leave you down, down below whenever you're down below, right? Dude, there's a building up here. Right over there to the trees? I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it is single player, so I'm guessing that's either going to be pirates or an NPC village. I'm not too sure if they have villages where they have the, the merchants or if that's only on, like, the starter island. We're still showing resources in all these rocks, so it's kind of cool. Oh, dude, there's a very big village. Please be friendly. Please be friendly. Dude, you guys got elephants too. <laughs> oh man, let's see if anybody's home around here. I'm hoping there's actually... Oh, there is. Dude, it's so weird seeing NPCs. So, a vendor too. So this is kind of what's on the starter island. It was a bunch of vendors like this. So gold coins. Okay, we got a couple of those. Not many. Nothing else over here. Seems like all the cats are infested with towns, too. Water. Keep saying water's this way. I mean, there's water all around, technically. Is it drinkable? It is! Oh, dude, we got fresh water. Oh, we need to set up camp here. Another cat, don't worry. I'm not gonna mess with you. Uh, dude, this is so nice, man. Let's go down there, check out that real quick. We should probably bring our raft around here. Yeah, we're just around here to this little cove. If we can get over here. I still want to check out that bigger island, but there's a ton of stuff here. We might set up shop here. Get us a nice little beach house. It seems like everything here is pretty friendly, right? We haven't seen anything aggressive. And try to progress a little bit before we go to the bigger islands. Just in case there's pirates on the other ones. But we can set up a little place. Get our smithy going and stuff like that. Check out over here before it gets nighttime. Let's go. Let's go this way. This looks just like the starter island. Is it a... 
It's another starter island, isn't it? Yeah, because there's a ship recruiter. Oh, dude! So it's only five coins for each one of these. Yep. Ran right into that. And you will sell me a boat. Yep. So here's the thing. So they got the sloop here. This is as it has a low weight capacity and uses two small sails or one medium sail. The thing is, I heard the bigger the boats you get, the more crew you gotta have. Which isn't that big of an, uh, an issue because we've got some gold coins. I think we have enough to buy one or two crew members. We'll have to see. That's something I'll work towards. What's the requirements for that? Fairly cheap, man. 225 on the fiber, 75 height, and 250 wood. The thing is, we need to double check for fibers around here. Oh, dude, I wish I would have started off here. Well, I mean... Probably a good thing I didn't, because I wouldn't have ever left. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than the starter island I was at. How do I get back to... where I was? What do you got? Holiday Vendor? Okay, he didn't have anything except for some St. Patrick's Day stuff on the other island. That is kind of creepy, man. There you go. Get up on all fours when you're trying to run around. Just saying. Usually helps out some. I think what we're going to do is... I think right over here we're going to build a place. Oh, there's another island out that way, too. So we got one over there. That sun is so bright. And we got the one big one over on that side, too. So yeah, let me do that, man. I'm going to go grab our boat, pull it around here. And we should be able to start building in the next video. Oh, dude, it's going to be fantastic, man, having everything here. We got elephants! Insane. <laughs> it's a cool thing. I can't even get up there. So it's already nighttime. It took me a minute to get from that side. We had wind going the total opposite direction, but dude, that looks cool at night, man. It's like a skull up there all kind of lit up. The thing is, <laughs> it is super shallow around here. I already got stuck once. Almost got beached totally, but I think bigger boats might cause some problems coming through here. Where we're going to is right up here. If we can make it. I don't know. We're getting pretty shallow up here. Getting super shallow. Yep, we're right by the rocks. Oh, dude, we gotta turn around. I'm wanting to go to that edge right over there. It's kind of where we were, or right there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it with a boat. We might have to leave this out... ...out offshore just a little bit. You can see how shallow it is. I'm not too sure what happens if you get beached, right? Like, how do you get off of... ...off the sand? I don't know if it slowly moves, just, you know, as a game mechanic to keep you from getting permanently stuck. Something we'll have to figure out before we get a bigger boat. Oh, there's a channel here. Oh, dude, that's awesome. They got, like, a little ship channel. Because that goes in there by where that dock was, you know? All right, so I think this is where we're going to go to right here. I went ahead and dropped anchor. It is shallow enough, and it turns out there's a channel. It's kind of hard to see, but right over there, there's a channel that runs right into there. So that'll work out for us whenever we get a bigger boat. I definitely want to get a bigger one. There's that sloop, and I'm guessing it's going to have a, a deeper draft, right? So it's going to go down further in the water. It'll be easier to get stuck. Before we go... Let's see how much metal and stuff we get from these rocks. And see what this other stuff is. The basalt, the limestone. So we got iron there. There was supposed to be one more thing, right? Geode. We didn't get one of those. So this is used for metal, of course. So the basalt is used as flint. And then limestone as regular stone. Let's do one more. I want to see what the geode is for. If we can get one. We might need an iron or a metal pick to be able to, to get that, you know? It's not looking too good for us. I heard you. Dude, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm all worried. I hear that. I'm thinking about the... The seagulls from Ark. That steal from you? Please don't tell me you're gonna steal from me. It's not nice, man. Hmm. Didn't get a geode, but... We got over here and found this nice town. Oh, dude. Well, not too bad of a day, man. We set sail from our starter island just to arrive at another starter island. I think that's what this is. Unless it's just a NPC town. But, regardless, they have elephants, they've got the metal, we've got all of our regular resources, and then we have that huge island not too far from here that we can explore at, too. I think we're going to set up shop here for a little bit. We'll have to see how it goes. Not too sure. I kind of want to set up two ways of living, right? I want to have a permanent base where we can have all of our stuff, keep our storage, but I want to live on boats mainly. The only thing is, you don't want to keep everything on your boat because if you sink, you lose everything. I'm guessing. I don't know if you can go back and get it. So we'll find a place to set up shop for now. It's going to be right here. We'll start building in the next video, get a nice base going, get us a larger ship dock so we can have our stuff there, and kind of go from there, man. 
However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked our little travels today. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.